What's going on, guys? Booty clap, Keith. <laughs> no, <shit. laughs> okay, so let's start it off with a bit. Alright, when I post my hunter tips video, I got a lot of tips that you guys shared with me in my comments, and some of them work. Oh, it worked! But some of them don't. No! <laughs> so today I want to myth bust your tips that you guys sent me in my comments, and I think some of these are going to blow your mind. So we're going to start out with this one. So this guy says you can find anyone's base using the contacts menu. What? Okay, so let's see. I'm checking my contacts. Last scene, four minutes ago, okay? So I'm going to walk up to this base, and I'm like, hmm. I wonder if this guy lives in this base, okay? So the idea is when I come up here and I go up next to your base, and if it says last seen now, then I know that you live in the base. Okay, so contacts, last seen now, see? So now I'm like, oh, okay, this guy lives in this base. Dude. <laughs> That's so broken, dude. Bro. So no one can ever hide from you again. Because if you know the general location, you can just go up to people's bases and see where they live. I live for that sh So this is like huge for me. I'm always hunting down my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Dirt Rider, he's another YouTuber. He says that you can crash minis with drones. Wait, actually? So, uh, you drive the mini, and then I'm gonna see if I can crash you. If this works, try to not crash. It sounded moving. Maybe coming good. straight up down, it messes me up way more. Let me try. Coming down on me. Hey, oh, yeah. Pause. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. What the f oh. <laughs> I was inside and I was like pushing you and you had to come with me. I like manhandled you like that. <laughs> I couldn't do anything about it. Let me try this again. Let me try this again here. So hold on, hold on. Let me go slow. Wait, let me, let me come into you. What? Yeah. Yo, you need to chill. <laughs> you need to chill with that shit, bro. What the <laughs> fuck, man? Oh! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so if they're moving, it's it's, it's even over. worse for them. Yeah. No, it's, if they're in flight, it's over. Like. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So if they're just hovering right there, it seemed a lot harder to hit you down. Oh. Okay. Okay. Here's a good one. So I've been seeing a lot of videos on TikTok saying that you can take zero fall damage by using the fire. Let me do a test one real quick. I want. I just want to see. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let me try that again. I'm pretty sure I just that fucked that up. That was so bad. <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm gonna try this again. Oh! Wait, you flew. Oh, it worked! It worked! No I took way. zero. Yeah, I took zero fall damage. I I took a little bit of flame damage, but I, I it was zero fall damage. Wait, do that again, bro. What? <laughs> yeah, you just you literally just float down on the fire. I just have to jump on that. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how. Oh, oh. Oh, it worked. Look at that, dude. That's actually sick. That's actually sick. You have to just see where the fire is going and you just have to like ride the flames. You can fish for guns in bandit camp. This is actually kind of broken because. No you're... way it works. You can fish all day and just get like. Oh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm in the safe zone too. And while we're waiting to see what we can get from Bandit Camp Fishing, I want to tell you about Rust Clash, who helped fund my wife's cancer treatment, which costs way more than we could ever afford. Thank you so much. Thank you. He says that you can get guns though. So maybe it has like a different loot pool or something. I don't know what type of fish you need. Let me, let me Google it once. Sir. But you probably already know Rust Clash is a case opening website. They got battles, Plinko, mines, jackpot, and some more. Those are just my favorite ones. I know you can carve the bigger fish and it can give you like blue cards and stuff like that. What? Really? I didn't know that. And you know what else I found out? Rust Clash is giving away $500 to Casimo viewers. Just scroll down right here, type Casimo1 and you'll get free cash using the website. Just make sure you've already typed in my affiliate code right here, otherwise it won't work. Okay, here, here it is. You can get from a catfish, an orange roughy, a salmon. Th does it show which ones drop the guns? Uh, let me check. And Rust Clash will let you deposit using your extra Rust skins, CSGO, crypto, and they give you free cases every day depending on what level you are. So if you haven't already, click the link right here in the description and check out the site. Oh, you know what he probably means? 
It probably means you just trade the scrap you get from the... Yeah. Oh, that's actually smart, because basically what you do is you fish, and then you trade the, whatever fish you get at the fishing village, and then you get scrap for it, right? And then you just buy a gun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've heard people saying that you can tip the Chinook with a mini. Oh my God. If you didn't know, you can crush a Chinook with a mini or a transport heli. I don't know if I'll be able to do this though, so um, you might have to give it a try too. Alright, you want me to try to hit it? Yeah, yeah, try to do it. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Oh. Did it move? Yeah, I got nudged. Oh! Oh, it worked! No way, dude! In the okay, did, did it spawn the the crate though? It's here! It actually works! Look, dude! Here, hold on, hold on. Let me take it out. How come no one does this? This is crazy, bro. You could literally camp it with a with a boat or something. You know what's funny is you don't even have to look. No way. Yeah. Dude. Here, let's try to do it. Do you think a do you think a scrappy would be able to survive it a little bit better? Yeah. Yeah. Spawn it. Spawn right, it. Let's spawn try it. it. All right. I'm going from the side. Alright, let's see what you got. Oh! Easy, dude. And you gotta keep your Oh no, it survived! No it survived! Way. No, no way, way, dude! No way, dude! No way, dude. Check this out though. This is something crazy that no one knows right now. Okay, so do you remember the old horse meta? <laughs> what happens when you try to get on the horse? Too heavy. I'm too heavy. Too heavy, right? Yeah. So they nerfed it because that, that shit was too OP before. Okay, now give me that, give me it back. Okay, so what you can do though, if you switch seats to the back. Nope. <gasps> did they fix it? No, come on, dude. I literally just figured this shit out. Nope. No, they fixed it. Come on. Yeah, you used to be able to hop in the back seat, throw on the heavy plate armor, and then you can go in the front seat and roam around with the heavy plate. Okay, now this is something that I've seen a lot of people do, and I, I, I see uh, Shacky doing oh this. But apparently, if you swap the spear, it swings faster than if you just do it like regular. Okay, so we're gonna race. I'll do the swap method, and you just you just hit it like regular. Okay. Ready, Ready set, go! It is, it is faster, it is faster. I can, I can just tell right there. Wait, what if you can knock over the Chinook with a drone? That's actually genius, I know. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Oh my God, it's really fast. Oh, he juked me! Get over here! Oh, come oh my on. God. Oh, come on, dude! No way. You're doing this, aren't you? you I'm not doing this, bro. What are you doing? You're spotting it the wrong it. way. Dude, it's actually dodging me. I'm pretty sure it's dodging me. Are you, you swear to God, you're not doing that? Put it over here. Bye, have a great time. I'm gonna be so pissed if you do this first try. Oh, you actually did it, but what it just kind of moved a little bit. Right in the back of it, okay? You're really far out of it. You see? You see? You <laughs> That's see? That's why you don't go so far, dude. Oh, it did! Oh, shit! Oh, my God. You actually, you exploded it. Where did you hit it? Just straight on, like, or, like, back, back, and, like, it's just straight on, basically. What? Do these scientists have loot on them? Oh, they do. So this guy says you can kill animals while in the safe zone with rocks. I knew you could hit them with rocks, but he's saying if you stand about 10 player models away from him, you can kill them within the safe zone. How many fucking rocks do you have to throw at an animal <laughs> to kill them? Okay, so if I'm like right here, is he gonna stop though? Nope. 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 <laughs> it's hard to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even moving, dude. What the f? I web. How many? <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. 200 rocks later. Use seeds to put out heli fires. Okay, so there's a guy in my comments 
and he said that you can put out heli fires with seeds. And if this is true, this is a broken ass tip. Like hemp and seeds or what? Like hemp seeds. And I really hope it does work because that would be nuts. <laughs> It's, it's almost like it's burning the seed. Cause like you can see the seed when you plant it and then it just goes away. Yeah, I don't think this works. Hmm, that's odd. We use any seeds and place them under or near heli boxes. It's worked on a vanilla PVE server and a 10X PVP server. Maybe it's a plugin then. They put a plugin to put fires out with seeds. <laughs> what a random ass plugin, dude. Why would, like, why would anyone think to make that a plugin? Is that weird? Who the hell would do, who would, who would take the time to make a plugin to put out fires with seeds? Calm down. What? No huh? way. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to try this. Oh my God, it worked. It so worked. Easy. It did, yeah, first try, <laughs> super easy. Oh, I'm fucking Wow, weird. that's actually pretty sick. Wow, zero damage, dude. Fire the Yoka on the first try every time. You know how people say if you if you press R right when you shoot the Yoka, mm -hmm. it goes off every single time? Yeah. I don't think that's true, because I never it, it never works for me, but people swear that it's true. So I want to see if it's, if it's actually true. You like, you're supposed to hit R and click at the same time. Like. Oh, there's one. Two. What? Is it actually working? Nope. Oh, there, I messed up. Nope. I might have got lucky. So it's it's supposed to be every forty percent. That's how that's the percentage that Yokos go off. That's about the rate that I'm getting. Like I'm getting sometimes I'll get two in a row, but then sometimes it doesn't go off two times in a row, you know? And I'm pressing him right exactly at the same time. Nope. This guy says he hacks stability. Whatever that means. Why though? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Yo. That is fucking dumb, dude. <laughs> okay, so let, let, let's give this a try. No way. It's working. No way. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Look at this, dude. What the heck? <laughs> Stability just doesn't matter. That's kind of crazy, though. Okay, so this guy says... On a kayak, if you spam A, D, and hold auto run, you skip the paddle animation. It makes you go fast, <laughs> boy. So he's saying that AD and just auto run. Is it working? I think it's working. Am I going fast? Wait, let me get next to you. I'm gonna do it regular and you do it like that. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll I'll try to do his strat and then you just paddle like regular, okay? All right. Ready? Go! I don't yeah. think this works, dude. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but I don't think this works. We're I mean, going the exact same speed. <laughs> yeah, man. we're going the same speed. It does feel like you're going really fast, but I don't think I don't think it's I don't think it's a thing. That myth is busted. That's busted. Myth denied. Here's an easy way to hide on oil rig. Get next to these tires and swim inside them from the bottom. This oh, sh this is kind of cool. Wait, where even is this though? Okay, let's check this out. This is actually kind of cool. So this one? Uh, oh, sh okay, I see. Yeah, it, it works. Wow, dude. So if you, let's say you're, you're a grub, right? So you, you grub one guy at oil rig, right? And you're like, oh sh like I gotta hide because I can't kill the rest of them, right? So what you do is you jump right here and you can go under the tire and swim up. Can you see me? No. Dude, that's actually pretty invisible. sick. That's pretty sick, dude. No one's gonna find you right there. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, so this guy says red button actually gives two energy. So you can set up a heartbeat sensor and a blue light to check for door camping. Oh, a blue light, he said. 
and then a heartbeat sensor. Okay, so let me see uh, if I press this button. So it does light up. Uh, what if you, can you like hide around the corner? Let me see. Okay. okay, so it didn't light up that time. Now go in front of the door again. So it works. So it actually doesn't need any power. You can just have these three things and you can see if someone's door camping you like this. Well, that's pretty cool. I guess if you're too broke to buy the fogger, then this is a good alternative. The fogger actually has a motion sensor. So you can use it kind of like as a heartbeat sensor. This is probably better. Than the fogger? Well, the fogger is better because all I have to do is just put motion on, and then anytime anyone's outside my base, it you goes off. You know those off. scrubs are gonna come up to it and just steal all the all the low grade. Okay, we'll try yeah. it now. Steal, steal low grade. No, nope. oh, I can't. Never mind. Here, I have an idea. Maybe you can um, spear it out. Here, we do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. Yo, this is durable. What? <laughs> yeah. There you go. You're gonna, you're gonna need a few more. <laughs> All right, this is this is how much damage you did to it. Bruh. Bro, bro, <laughs> that's more durable than a wood wall. I know, dude. If you thought that was crazy, check this out, cause I got a whole video of pay-to-win skins you never expect to be pay-to-win. Oh, it went out. Oh my God. <laughs> 